identify the condition given in the image below. A. Chronic lymphedema B. Cushing syndrome C. Osteoporosis D. None Here in this image you can see there is a buffalo hump appearance of the foot and this buffalo hump appearance of the foot is seen in chronic lymphedema. This lymphedema characteristically involves the foot. The contour of ankle is lost through infilling of the submalular depression. A buffalo hump forms on the dorsum of foot. The toes appear square because of confinement of the footwear and the skin on the dorsum of the toes cannot be pinched because of subcutaneous fibrosis. This subcutaneous fibrosis is known as Stemmer's sign. So the condition here is chronic lymphedema. Identify the image given below. A. Female condom. B. Male condom. C. Chaya. D. Today. So what do you see here? It is a female condom, also called femidome. It is a pouch made of polyurethane that lines the vagina and also the external genitalia. It is 17 cm in length with one flexible polyurethane ring at each end. The inner ring at the closed end is smaller compared to the outer ring. So the correct option here is A, female condom. Identify the condition shown in the image. A, ichthyosis vulgaris. B, syndromal ichthyosis. C, leprosy. D, sarcoidosis. Now this ichthyosis is the most common genodermatosis. It is characterized by dry scaly skin all over the body. Scales are dull brown back. The basic defect is impairment in the barrier function of skin and inability to maintain moisture. Now this ichthyosis can be divided into inherited ichthyosis, ichthyosis vulgaris, X-linked ichthyosis, lamellar ichthyosis, epidermolytic hyperkeratosis. The most common type of ichthyosis is ichthyosis vulgaris, in which there is a deficiency of filagrin, and this filagrin is a protein found in the granular layer of skin, that is stratum granulosum. So the correct option here is ichthyosis vulgaris. This movement is lost in A, third nerve palsy, B, trochlear nerve palsy, C, sixth nerve palsy, D, facial nerve palsy. This condition is seen in trochlear nerve palsy. Now this trochlear nerve is the fourth cranial nerve and one of the ocular nerve that controls the eye movement. So the correct option here is trochlear nerve palsy B. The patient is presenting with deformity of finger as shown below. The proximal interphalangeal joint is involved but the distal interphalangeal joint is spared. The condition is seen in A. Osteoarthritis B. Rheumatoid Arthritis C. Psoriatic Arthritis D. Ankylosing Spondylitis Here you can see there is a swan neck deformity. Swan neck deformity of the finger describes hyperextension at the PIP joint with the flexion of DIP joint. This is seen in rheumatoid arthritis as a 
clinical presentation.